What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Link here and we are back with a brand new The Bulk episode 4 I believe. It's about noon right now and your boy is running some errands. We are getting ready to head to the gym at around 2.15 so in about 2 hours. Running some errands, gonna go pick up a smoothie. I'm gonna take you guys through my uh, tips and tricks and how to have a great ass fucking workout. Starting a little amps right now. Just grab this Rise Baja Burst flavor. Tastes exactly like Baja Blast. I'm not fucking kidding you. Rocking the Everford hat. We got some sunglasses prescription, you know, cause I'm blind. And we got the Learn More, Dream More, Be More shirt. And then we got some Alphalete pants as well for the fit today. Ugh. So we dropped off the clothes, returned them, got the money back, got like 50 bucks back. So that's nice. Um, and now we're gonna hopefully go get a smoothie. I might not get a smoothie. Depending. We're gonna head back and we're gonna get ready for the gym. All right, well, scratch the smoothie plan. We're saving that for after the gym because my boy texted me like, yo, boy, we gotta go at 1.30. So I'm actually gonna head home, I'm gonna eat, and then we are gonna head to the gym. And I'm gonna give you guys all my tips and tricks on how to have a fucking bomb ass workout. All right, step number one. If you want a good workout, you gotta have proper nutrition. That means you gotta hydrate and you gotta eat some good food. But what food do you eat? Well, let me fucking show you. Because I am gonna be working out in less than 30 minutes, I'm choosing quick digesting carbs in order to get that energy straight into my system as fast as possible. Now, if you are working out in an hour and a half, I would suggest you have a meal with higher fats and proteins. Since it is so close to the workout, those take longer to digest and it's gonna be taking away energy from your workout and putting it into your digestion. So step number one, like I said, proper nutrition and lots of water. Step number two, trust for success. To prove a fact, look good, feel good, that means you're gonna have a good fucking workout. Rest and feel comfortable. Dressing clothes that you want to work out in, all right? Who gives a flying fuck what anybody else thinks that you're wearing? Do you want to wear a fucking Star Wars shirt? Go right ahead. Do you want to wear like a Mickey Mouse shirt? Go right and fucking ahead. Do you want to wear rip away pants so everybody can see your junk? Maybe, maybe don't do that one. But you get the point. Step number three, get some good sleep. Eight hours of sleep minimum if you want to fully recover and be ready for the next day. We go to bed at one, Waking up at 7 in the morning, not going to be good for your recovery and for the workout for the next day. Oh, step four, have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go in all willy-nilly, hit legs, and then the next exercise, you go hit back. This could allow you to hit more muscles within the week. You plan back Monday and Thursday. You plan legs Wednesday, Saturday. There you go. You know exactly what you're hitting, so you're not going in there willy-nilly, overtraining or undertraining. And then finally, the fifth and final step is to get freaking hyped. It doesn't matter how you do it. You want to watch some fight scenes? Go right ahead. Want to listen to Hearthstyle? style? Go right ahead. Just get hyped and get ready to go have some fucking fun at the gym and get huge! All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little infomercial or whatever you want to call it right there on how to get hyped for the gym and five tips in order to make your workout better. We just slammed two Rice Krispie treats and I am taking half a scoop of these Rice Smarties and the Super Aramectin today. I did end up buying some L-Citrulline, just pure L-Citrulline. L-Citrulline is great for pumps. And I decided to put two scoops of L-Citrulline here. So I have about six grams of L-Citrulline in this bad boy right here. So I'm going to get freaking high for the gym. And we're going to go hit a back workout with my boy Jacob. So let's go. Too long for my own good. Surrounded by idiots. Why did I let myself devolve into such a half-assed piece of shit? It's too late now. Damned if I know what's right anymore. Who cares? It is what it is. No choice but to face what I've done. As a warrior. No road left but the one that leads to the end.
Enjoyed that little workout. Finally on our way to go get the freaking smoothies. I'm so excited. I've been had this in so long. I'm gonna go pick him back up because he had to go to his house real quick and we're gonna go get some smoothies. The pump is looking even. I swear I turned into a narcissist like 30 minutes after the gym and then it all comes crashing down. All right, we are back at the house. It's about five o'clock right now. Took a little bit of a break from the camera. Had to run some errands with my boy Jacob. Got some LED lights. For the college dorm, you know, try to make it vibey, bro. But I did enjoy the smoothie. If you ever go to travel smoothie, get a peanut butter paradise with Splenda and Whey. Because, dude, trust me, shit is delicious. Added sugars, like, uh, it's just to make me feel good. So that's why I get the Stevia or Splenda, whatever they have, with whey protein. Oh, so good. Gonna shower, and I'm going to poop. Because whenever I eat that, it makes me want to poop. Then I'm probably gonna eat again. So, yeah. All right, what's up, y'all? It's currently 11.15, and I know it's really, really late to be doing the outro clip. The whole point of me making this video is to show you guys that working out is all about having fun. Was, I, I saw this quote from Baki, and I thought that it was a really great quote, and I wanted to kind of just share with you guys if it's a motivational shit, and that is, a man who works hard can never beat a man who has fun doing the same thing. You can go in there all pissed off, and be like, oh, I fucking hate the world. Everyone's against me. If I lift these weights, I'm going to be better than you. You can go ahead and do that shit, all right? And yeah, you'll get big. Yeah, you'll get some huge muscles. But guess what? What do you have once you get those? You will be like, I got this. Yet I feel like I still hate everybody. And maybe someday along the road, that mindset will change to you having fun. And that's what happened to me. Once I realized that going to the gym wasn't like a necessity but more of like a, a want and because i want to i want to have fun i go there i have fun i'm listening to music I'm, I'm with my friends i'm having fun so i guess what i'm trying to say is when you are doing something do it for the fun it's fun to you then it'll make it that much easier if you fucking hate your job you're not having fun at your job you're not gonna like it you could be the best damn stockbroker salesman whatever the hell you want to be but if you hate it you're gonna regret going to that job every single day you're gonna be able to just be a happier human once you start having fun with more things it's gonna do it for the video i hope you all enjoyed if you guys made it this far you might as well be like something so you might as well hit that like button and subscribe you just tell us the channel tone. i'm sorry for taking a little bit more of a serious turn in this video but i just felt like i should probably share that with you guys and my whole basis of making this video if you're in your remember be better than you were yesterday i will see you guys in the next video Peace. <laughs>